Dixon's Twilight Crit was formed in 1980 by Gene Dixon. Uh, it's a 32-year running history of the Twilight. Uh, Twilight Foundation was formed last year in 2010 to allow the Twilight to go on for the next 150 to 200 years. Along with the morning activities, you also had the kids' races going on. You, you also, at this year's Twilight, had the Max's um, freestyle competition was going on as well. Uh, that was set up. You had. Um, demonstrations, trials, tricks. That was all set up at the top of uh, Washington and College Avenue this year. My name is Brian Malloy. Uh, I'm the owner of the Hub Bicycles in Athens, Georgia. And I'm also uh, one of the three guys who put together uh, the Hub Elite Cycling Team. The team got started because the Hub had a club team for the past few years. It was initially a mountain bike team, then they added a road team. And this past year, Brian, the owner of the shop, really wanted to have a cohesive group of guys that wanted to race at a top level, and he got six of us. And uh, I think he's got a pretty good team and a uh, good group of people, and so we're trying to make it with the big boys. Um, I mean, our main goal for the team this year wasn't really performance based. I mean, obviously we'd like to have wins. It was more getting the program off the ground. Getting these guys, we chose all local cyclists, guys that we've known that are good racers in the area already. Uh, and just kinda, our goal was to, to form a good nucleus, to get a good platform so next year we can grow the program. Uh, hopefully with some results helping to grow the program. I think the chances are pretty good to win, win in the amateur race. We've got a good group of people that that I think have been training really hard to, to do well in the race. We've got a lot of good races before Twilight to kind of help us prepare. And I think that, that if we play our, play our cards right, that we'll be able to get a good result in Twilight. Uh, we train most days of the week. I think most guys are probably riding five or six days a week with one off day. And that off day might mean a really light ride or I'm no riding at all. And we all have, we're all either students or professionals. Like we have other jobs, we are amateurs, we don't get paid for this. So sometimes real life gets in the way and you might not get to ride as much as you would like. Basically it's called motor pacing and what it simulates is getting your leg speed up and spinning the pedals really fast uh, to get prepared for the high intensity speed and cadence of a criterium race. and. So some people do it different ways. We usually do it behind either a small car or a moped. And uh, it just allows you to go a lot faster than you normally would and kind of simulates race pace. Where I handled most of uh, the sponsorship, getting the money, organizing um, the equipment, and then Grant handles all of the uh, cyclist needs through coaching, fitting on the bike, um, nutrition, basically more along that lines. I mean, we've got great support from our equipment and we've got great support from the staff that either works on our equipment or guys like Grant that set us up with our fit on the bikes. So basically anything we need as far as race equipment or physical help with being on the bike is there and you can come here and buy anything you need for way cheaper than you normally would be able to and it just makes it that much easier. The hub rules. The streets of, of Athens are shut down at five o'clock. They are shut down because the amount of atmosphere that is brought to this event over the last 32 years has been tremendous and will continue to grow based on the uh, Twilight Foundation that, is, uh, that was set up in 2010. It's, it's a huge party with a bike race in the background. And you know, the best part is the fans basically. Um, and it's pretty stressful because it's dark and it's fast and you do have 
you know, so much pressure because of the spectators. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's really also great to be involved in it just because it has a really good energy. Cult, it's turned into kind of like a cultural thing now um, where even people that don't ride bikes or don't race go to the event because it's such a fun time. Just the atmosphere of all these people who've been drinking alcohol yelling for you and not sure that they really know what they're yelling for, but they just want to scream for people riding bikes and, and trying to go fast. It's the fans, just the whole atmosphere of Twilight is just unbelievable. You don't go, no race in America has the amount of fans that Twilight does. It's really the one weekend of the year where it's cool to be a bike racer. You're not the obnoxious dude in spandex riding out of town and like slowing everybody down in their car. It's like, yeah, that's that's awesome that you're doing that. So um, that's part of it. But the other is the atmosphere. It's just like when you have that many people watching a bike race, there's a different energy there. Twilight's huge for cycling in Athens. Um, throughout the year, I mean, you have your motorists on the roads that yell at you and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. But come Twilight, everybody comes downtown and kind of gets a feel for what we love to do, you know. And we're not just out on the peop on the roads getting in the way we're actually there for a reason having fun and we're there to race bikes when it comes down to it <laughs>the past two years I've gotten called up to the line so the announcer is saying my name as I roll up to the line and the crowd's cheering I have butterflies in my stomach hands are kind of shaking feet are shaking everything you look around and everybody's just you can tell everybody's nervous nobody's calm cool they can say they're calm but nobody's actually calm I mean, it's twilight and you can go on YouTube and watch videos of twilight and still get adrenaline going you know it's it's just a crazy race if you win Twilight, that's something that people remember. So. I know if I won, tw if I win Twilight, or if I ever win Twilight, it would just jumpstart my career even more, and that's what I hope to do. So it's just kind of one of those things that around our house is is a really big deal, and uh, my mom and dad always come up, and I've watched both my brothers race it for at least six years, and uh, you know now that I'm racing it, it's just been. One of those things that you always look forward to. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas and there's Twilight. I mean, Christmas comes and we're like, oh, well, Twilight's five months away. So <laughs> the, the day after Twilight, it's always, a, it's always a bummer. So when Twilight goes, we get, we get post-Twilight depression. <laughs> it is a great event. It is one of the premier events throughout the United States. Uh, granted that it's, it's history of 32 years that it's been going on, but also the tight track that is set up and the course that is set up that leads to such um, just exciting racing with 35,000 people in attendance this year alone. They obviously are there to see the crashes, but it's, it's a great time. But yeah, I mean, crashing is, crashing is part of it. If you race your bike long enough, you're, you're going to crash. And it's, it's usually not the end of the world, but it's not enjoyable. I'd probably hit the brakes. <laughs> I'd, rather not, I'd rather not lose the skin, so, you know, it is what it is. But. There's no race in America that compares to Athens Twilight. It has grown. It is a, still a party-type atmosphere where you have hundreds and thousands of people yelling at riders, ringing cowbells. That will continue on, hopefully, far into the 22nd century. I plan to be racing Twilight every year that I'm in Athens, so supposed to be here for another four years and uh, as long as I think I can finish or at least can be competitive I'll be here so I'll see you guys next year.